Right, so I'm out in the garden and I'm shooting the horse head nebula with my red cap. And hopefully it should be doing the, doing the flip soon. Stay tuned. Okay, so um, just caught the rig doing the flip, which is quite cool. So now it's going to do its refocus routine. Because it's lined up on the horse head nebula. Switch back screen from red. Sorry about the shaky camera work, I was just out in the kitchen and I realised it was going to happen. So I'll come back with a, a tripod and then we'll talk about what's going on in a minute. I'm glad we caught the flip. So the horse head nebula also known as Bernard 33 or IC434 is um, located just below the um, most eastern star of the Orion Nebula, uh, Alternate. So look for that star, go down a bit, hopefully you'll find it. It took me a bit of a while but um, I had trouble figuring out what the name was. Uh, silly old me. Right, so here's my Samson notepad I'm using. Can just about make your nebulosity. velocity. Uh, it started to uh, take another shot. It's guiding pretty good. Um, yeah, quite happy with that. Okay, so the filter wheel, it's got um, an Optolong L Extreme, which is what I'm using on the horse head nebula tonight. That's uh, also gonna have an Optolong L Pro in there, which I haven't put in yet, but I will do. Uh, it's got the uh, beta, UVAR filter in there, no, IR filter, excuse me, and also um, the Beta UHC Nebula filter. So I'm shooting 120 second subs, um, and I'm going to do 100 of them. Hopefully that would be enough to bring out some detail. Um, I've not done this before, as I said, you're on a journey with me to watch me learn and hopefully you'll learn from my mistakes so um so what I'm going to do is show you how I use um, the ASI software which is a uh, ASI studio and I use this to stack my images uh, so I'm fairly new to this uh, so here we go so you open up ASI uh, studio go into ASI the stack Clip, I'll make it a bit bigger and go into light or light and then select your light. Um, grab that so. Open. I know I'm going to have to go through these just to make sure it was all as clear as it can be. So remember, there was a couple of. There we go. I'll get rid of that. So right click and remove. And then I'm just going to go down to the bottom because it got cloudy as well. Um, I was going to do 100, but I only managed to get 60. And look, you can see that's quite cloudy, so I'm going to remove that one as well. And that one's not really bringing anything to the party. That can, yeah, that one can go. The rest of them seem okay. Right, so I'm going to add my darks now. I've got a dark library, so I'm just going to control A, select all, open. 
and then just scroll down here and start the stack. And have noise reduction on as well. And get that going. Now this will take a little while to stack. What I'm probably gonna do is stop the video and come back when it's a bit closer. Now it's finished aligning, it's just gonna go through the stacking process. This should whiz along. Um, it does go quite quick once it's all aligned. To be honest, it took no more than a couple of minutes anyway. So we'll see uh, the final image pretty soon. I'm really excited. Oh wow, I was expecting, well I wasn't quite sure what I was expecting to be honest, but considering that's just 60, um, 60 frames, or 58 frames, I'm, I'm very impressed with that. Not sure how well this is coming up on the camera, but um, Give it a little bit of saturation and stuff and contrast. Oh, I'm so happy with that. That's um that's really good. I'll stick it in the video and I'll show you all later. The recording's gone really well. Um, ASI Air hasn't skipped a beat. BAF done its done its magic. Filter wheel literally it's been solid. Even through the meta Meridian flip, just sort of done that. Didn't refocus and off it went within its schedule. Um, I'm so impressed with this bit of kit. Um, I could probably go inside and watch it from my kitchen. Um, I've tried that, the Wi-Fi is pretty good on this setup, so I might go and do that now and have a cup of tea. But, um, I've got to haul all the gear in. Thanks for watching and uh, stick around for the next video. This is Ryan from Astro Q. Clear skies, everybody. Uh, see you again.